Hello. So, um, today we'll talk about my one day impression of autopilot. Today I got an email saying they would be starting a free trial for autopilot. And it said that it would be in the car within 24 hours. I went to the car and checked and it was ready to go. Uh, today just happens to be my off day. So I was able to just drive around for most of the day. So today I was just driving around for Uber and Lyft, finding interesting places to drive, and I made a couple notes. I tried to drive in a lot of different driving situations. Um, the first thing I tried was a kind of a narrow, curvy road. Um, the speed limit on the road was 30 miles per hour, and autopilot handled it. It handled it really well. And that actually got my hopes up. Um, but there were some other things that I didn't quite understand and I mean, there, there are clearly some things they have to get ironed out before we can even really start to talk about full self-driving. Uh, one advantage to autopilot is it's supposed to be able to see the car in front of the car that's in front of you. So if that car is slowing down, it'll be able to anticipate it and brake early. There was one point when I was driving and I saw the car in front of the car in front of me slowing down to make a turn, but I guess autopilot didn't notice it. And it ended up having to slam on the brakes, which was it was really uncomfortable and kind of unnecessary if it if it was doing what it was supposed to. The interesting thing about that is, I think having autopilot just for this one day made my driving more efficient, because since I was using it, I found myself scanning further ahead than I normally would, and I drive trucks, so I'm used to scanning ahead a lot further than a normal driver would. But I feel like I had to scan a lot further ahead so I can slow the car down on my own because I didn't feel like autopilot can do it in a comfortable way. One thing I noticed is every time I engaged autopilot, it felt like it was pulling to the left to get itself centered. I don't know if that's because maybe I just like driving more along the right side of the road or if there were cars there every time when I do it and I just just naturally like to drive away from other cars but that was just something i noticed that was interesting but it didn't really hurt the experience but that being said when i'm driving around other vehicles i like to give them as much space as possible to decrease the chance of an incident autopilot doesn't care if it's close to another vehicle particularly if it's centered in its own lane um it does have some issues when a lane splits um, the Interstate 1012 split in Baton Rouge, it didn't like that at all. Um, it kind of does like a lot of humans do when they aren't paying attention and it makes its a decision at the last minute. It was also a point when I was coming around a curve and it tried to jump in a left turn lane from the curve. So that was that was a little strange. I had to, had to get back in and jerk it back into the lane that I needed to be in. At one point I was driving, I noticed a small object in the road. It looked like it may have been like a little shredded piece of tire or something. And it was in the center of my lane. And I had the car in autopilot and it felt like autopilot kind of squared up so it can kind of go right over the, that small object and kind of miss it. And I don't know if that's a feature or if it was just naturally adjusting to stay in the center of the lane. But if that is, that, that's pretty cool because one of the issues that my wife and I had was would autopilot or full self-driving mode would it be just running over stuff that's in in the in the lanes another issue I have with autopilot is I feel like there's too much braking and not enough region there are some times where the car could have just just slowed down a little bit and just used the region but instead it's, it's hit it's, it's getting all on the brakes and, it, and it's it's not comfortable Imagine a situation where you're on a just on a regular road and a car way way out in front of you they they make a left across your lane if they're if they're turning into a McDonald's or something and when you would normally just slow down a little bit autopilot gets on the brakes and stays on the brakes until their car is out of sight and the people behind you don't really like that because it doesn't it doesn't make any sense that car really isn't a threat from the distance away you are. So it did that a couple times and two times it slammed on the brakes and I don't know why. I have no clue why I did it, but it, it did. 
Another feature of autopilot is you can you can adjust the distance that you want to follow the car in front of you. Um, you can adjust it based on distance. I think it would be better if you adjusted it based on time, but or or, or at least had the option to adjust it based on time. There was some times when traffic was moving slower and I felt like the, the gap between me and the car in front of me was too big and there's some points when traffic is going fast when I, when I would like a, a larger gap. Probably the biggest issue I have with it is it's still not reading speed limit signs. And without that, full self-driving doesn't work and enhanced autopilot is going to be incredibly limited. Um, there's an area where the speed limit is just wrong and I was forced to go 45 miles per hour because autopilot didn't have the updated GPS data for the, the speed limit. And I passed by several brand new 55 mile per hour signs and it wouldn't it wouldn't go over 45. And then there are some times when it can be going too fast. Today was the first day of school here and obviously you have your school speed zones and autopilot's gonna need to be able to read those also are, are there just more times when you'll have to cut it off? So overall, I gotta say that I'm not really impressed. This is going to sound a little cocky, but I am a professional driver. So when I hear Elon and Tesla fans talking about, you know, how many times safer autopilot is than a than a average driver, after today, I'm wondering how terrible is an average driver? my day one impression of autopilot is it's about as good as a like a teenager who kind of just learned how to drive and you kind of have to babysit them along the way and make sure they aren't they aren't tearing up your car and i'm really surprised that people were able to get overconfident in this system because i don't feel the confidence coming from the car so i don't i don't see myself having a lot of confidence in the car just based on what happened today now in the next 13 days with the system i can get used to it maybe that'll happen but i i don't i don't really trust it all that much another thing people have been complaining about is the car nagging you and telling you to keep your hands on the wheel um i only got it to do that one time and that's because i wanted to see it come up on the screen um for the most part i drove with a hand on the wheel just giving it a minimal amount of pressure and everything was fine. I feel like I'm gonna have the same dilemma with autopilot as I have with valet parking. It's like, you want me to pay someone who's not as good a driver as I am to go and park my car? No. The answer to that, the answer to that suggestion is always no for me. I'll, 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 I firmly believe in self-parking. Here's another thing I'm struggling with. Um, I went to school for marketing. And one thing we learned is a sale doesn't happen until the value of a good or service is greater than the price of that good or service. And it really doesn't matter what it is. And when I was configuring my car, I didn't think autopilot was worth $5,000. That's based off of all of the research I've done and what autopilot could and couldn't do. and. And all the videos I'd seen, I, I just didn't think it was worth $5,000. And in response, Tesla says I have to pay $6,000 for it. And yesterday, I probably would have paid up to $3,000 for it. And now today, I don't think I would pay that much for it. Um, I like Traffic Aware Cruise Control. I think that worked nice. I don't know if I'm in a, enough tight situations to where I would need... Um, the summon I think it'll be fun to, to play with I'm, I'm gonna go play with it now but I think this is this is something I could easily live without and I really I kind of came into the into today thinking that they were gonna sell me and I was just gonna I was gonna have to explain a six thousand dollar purchase to my wife and I don't think that's gonna be a problem at all but I still have 13 more days with it. My mind might change. We're gonna go on a, a little road trip. We're gonna go to New Orleans and I should get to try it out a lot between here and there. Um, and I'll mess with more of the features, but yeah, not sold on autopilot. Um, tell me why I'm wrong in the comments and don't forget to like 
and subscribe.